Tonight, new allegations in a sex abuse scandal that's rocked Catholic churches in Conroe and Richmond. A former altar boy claims he was sexually abused by Father Manuel La Rosa Lopez two decades ago. He is the third victim now to come forward. And police believe there are more out there. Jessica Borg is live at the Archdiocese in Midtown with these latest developments. Jessica. Len Mia, the new accuser is not yet ready to be identified. He says the abuse happened when he was in middle school and when Manuel La Rosa Lopez was training to be a priest. He claims that he reported the abuse back then to church authorities, but that his complaints were ignored. This was a red flag. Lawyer Adam Donnell represents the man who says Father Manuel La Rosa Lopez sexually abused him on five to six separate occasions when he was an adolescent. The alleged abuse took place when he was an altar boy from 1993 to 1994 and when Lopez had not yet been ordained as a priest. He reported this to his guardians at the time what had happened to him and actually got to the point where he was not wanting to go and be an altar server anymore. Donnell won't say where the then 12 to 13 year old boy went to church, but says that he first met La Rosa Lopez at a Spanish language mass. According to these archdiocese directories, La Rosa Lopez was assigned at St. Thomas More Parish here in Houston from 1993 to 1996, meaning the young boy's complaints against him did not change his status within the church. My client explained what had happened. He felt it was inappropriate. At that time, uh, they raised the issue as a group my client and his guardians to the local parish and had a sit down discussion at that point in time. What came out of those discussions? Nothing. These new allegations come on the heels of two people filing police reports about abuse they say they suffered at the hands of La Rosa Lopez after he became a priest. I know my client strongly believes that had some of it, some action been taken early on, maybe we wouldn't be in the situation we are today. Seeing media reports of the scandal inspired the new alleged victim to come forward. Since 20 plus years ago, uh, he had buried a lot of this away and, and finally seeing that there were other people like him who had gone through this uh, gave him the courage to reach out, contact the authorities. Now, the Archdiocese referred us to La Rosa Lopez's attorney who tells us he has not yet heard from authorities about these allegations that he doesn't know what they're about or who is making them. And meanwhile, the Montgomery County DA's office tells us they are now actively investigating these new claims. We are live tonight from Midtown. Jessica Borg, KHOU 11 News. And investigators say they continue to learn new information in the case every day. You can read more about the scandal on KHOU.com and the KHOU 11 app.